What's the most unattractive thing a woman has said to you? I wouldn't have married you if I knew there was a possibility you would experience depression. Wow. This is horrible. It was a really rough patch to go through alone. Knowing that my wife couldn't or wouldn't offer any kind of support or understanding. I'm not sure why I needed to learn that lesson but I did. She's gone. I showed her the door. And I try every day to not be cynical. There are kind people out there. I still believe. A girl I was meeting said she cheated on her ex-boyfriend with four different guys when she was on vacation. Reminds me of a girl who said to me, but I want to spend the night with you. On the face of it. Great. But in context, was out with her as part of a group on a night out. She spent the night flirting with me. Then went off and kissed some dude that she was having an affair with I found out later. He was married. I actually walked past her as she was doing it. Five minutes later she came back over to me and started flirting again. So I said just saw you with dude. You should probably go back. But I want to spend the night with you. No thanks. Asking to borrow money after having sex. Before she was telling me how she likes to do cocaine at work because it's similar to coffee and helps her with her job and explaining that it isn't a problem. She was a social worker who specifically worked with marginalized women who were addicted to drugs. That is ironic in a terrifying way. I liked you were before I changed you. Apostrophe. You haven't changed me. I just grew into a better person. Now it's time to grow out of this relationship. Apostrophe. You're lucky I'm even giving you a date. Most men never get this far with me. I stuck it out politely until the end of the meal. Bid her farewell. And blocked her toxicer on my phone immediately afterward. I'm not opposed to women having standards. But this was something else. You did the right thing mate. Oh my god. You should meet my boyfriend. You two would get along. So well this was within 5 minutes of asking me if I wanted to be her lover tonight. Apostrophe. Were they poly at least? You're f weak. And you'll always be weak. No matter how many hours you spend in the gym your mind is weak. Because you won't stand up for yourself my ex fian case response to me refusing to hit her back. After she clocked me in the mouth. And was taunting me to do something about it. While I was quietly spitting blood in the sink. Since it made me cut the inside of my lip. Never has someone I loved so much. And was incredibly attracted to became immediately disgusting. And ugly to me as she did in that moment. Haven't seen her in person. Since and if I did I wouldn't even give her the respect of looking her in the aisle I'll edit. Holy yes I didn't expect my phone. To get blown up with likes. And support from you all. And from the bottom of my heart thank you. I will say. I'm three and one half years removed from this event. Whole thing happened week before covid. And I'm okay now. I've moved on. And learned from the good and the bad from that relationship. And I'm better now for it. I'm happily engaged to an absolute sweetheart now, and she's my best friend, and she was very very patient with me, in being comfortable again and very affectionate. Last things I want to say I've been pretty open with people about my experience with the relationship and the abuse I went through with her leading up to this, and I do a lot of work, and donate to the 1 in 6 organization and I encourage those who want to support, learn more, or need help to get involved, or at least learn more about it. For those who are going through slash have been through this, don't feel ashamed and afraid to share what you've been through. Unlike what my ex said we are not weak. Most people who have met me or know me, honestly would probably never guess that I was someone who was abused, and many people aren't, so you never know what's going on behind closed doors. Was dating a girl, and were about to get it on. Told me I shouldn't worry about a condom, because I've had so much come in me. It's fair to say I was completely turned off. Just call me a cum dumpster. First and only time I've met a self-proclaimed cum dumpster. I went out on a date with a woman. While we were talking. She coughed a lot. And then she said sorry. I've been smoking too much Arxy lately. We did not see each other after that. Kind of funny. Now that I think about it but yeah. I will pass on the Arxy smokers lol. Didn't know you could smoke Arxy. Bet you don't know where your aluminum foil went either. I've switched to heroin. Much better. Apostrophe.
being told I couldn't be raped, after looking for comfort discussing and sa situation still fucks with me, but I'm here to tell all your last stories matter, and don't let anyone try to demasculate you for being a victim. My BF shared his sa story with me. I cried with and comforted him. I don't know if that broad was missing a few chunks of her brain, but the only person she deserves is one as ignorant as herself. Probably easier said than done but you shouldn't. Or deserve to. Let that f with you. If you were a real f king man. If you were f a real man. If you were really f a man. Gotta go with a girl who said my father must vent his cancer. Comically. The woman who told me she didn't have any plans for later. Paused. And then I've got money. Has to be a runner up though. I don't get that second one. Was she subtly offering to pay you for sex or something? I bet wanted to make it clear he didn't have to ask her on a date, but she wished to accompany him. Words came out wrong. Another victim of chemical impulses shutting down our brains. I had a girl tell me she knew where I lived then realized what she said it was quite funny in retrospect, but she was mortified. She was friends with my neighbor and just learned that fact. I was 24 when my now ex told me 3 years into a relationship she still loved her then ex. She apologized later that night, and I was so lost in life I stayed with her for another 6 months. Even then. She was the one that left me. I can't leave you all on that though. I hit the gym, and started focusing on me after that toxic s ended. I got promoted about 7 months later, and got slowly got fit. She hit me up asking to hang out, and tried sending me some sexy pics bragging about how well she's doing and yada yada. I entertained her first few messages and then had some come to Jesus moment and decided to leave her on read. I went out on a date the same night she hit me up. I let 7 months of sexual frustration out on that woman. Best 30 seconds ever. Anyway, we are married now and have been for 8 years. Wow you must be amazing in what you do to convince a woman to marry you just within 30 seconds of sex. You go king, jokes aside. Congrats made lots of happiness I wish upon thee. Just get out of the shower after 12 hours shifty and not doing anything. Go in search or similar boat here. I work 120 hours, 10 days at a time, and then go back to a hotel room after work. The day I got home from last rotation, working outside during the hottest weeks ever recorded. 120 degrees, I was told you could at least help me out while you're home. Because our 9 week old puppy had an accident on the floor. It somehow became my fault he had an accident. It blew up into a huge argument that I still haven't completely recovered from. Every time I go home, I have to clean nearly the entire house before I can actually relax anyway. So I was just blindsided and confused. A girl I matched with on a dating site told me that she knows a lot of guy friends outside of work and at work have a crush on her, and she dresses for the validation she gets from them, and lives off of it. She said she knows that she might be leading some guys on, and giving them the wrong signals. But she has no intentions of stopping or trying to fix her self-image issues, because using them for validation was much easier than taking the efforts to address her mental health issues causing this. All the beauty and adorableness I saw in her vanished in an instant. Had a girl admit to me that she had been doing it to me. Along w several other people. Sad thing was I let this happen to myself for years. But when she finally told me her antics, I told her I never wanted to talk to her again. She found me in a bar one night and asked if we could go outside and talk about it. Told her I stand by my words and she replied well that's really sad. That was a last interaction and it was the healthiest personal choice I had made up until that point in my life. I bet I could turn you straight, and proceeded to grab my crotch. Many women have no concept of consent or boundaries. I'm straight, but that doesn't matter. I long stopped counting the times women have touched me inappropriately, or tried feeling me up without asking permission. It happens a lot even as a gay man. Straight women come into gay clubs to escape predatory men. But then they just get drunk, and do the same thing to us. For some reason being gay just makes it more okay to grope me. But since I'm still a man I can't really do anything about it. Ladies, I want you to have fun and feel safe. But please stop grabbing my FD, just because you think you can. Why would I support Jami X? Context. 
This was emotional support. I made 5 extra salary. It's sad that you needed to clarify further. Anyone can have rough times in their life. She would not stop talking about how much she hated black people. I was completely thrown of guard since she was black herself. I ended up leaving that date early and paid for my half of the meal and tipped out the server, the boondocks, into the ruckus verse. I was on a second or third date with a woman while in college. During the date, she got a call from her father. She had apparently rung up over $800 in random purchases over the weekend. Luxury clothes kind of things. She yelled at him that she can do what she wants. Then she vented about her dad trying to be controlling and how she should be able to do whatever she wants. That was a last date. Lol similar. This girl had nothing but horrible things to say about her family, but the cliff notes were my family is toxic and my parents are narcissists and I'm trying to cut contact with them. End up meeting the family a month later and they are a tight knit family of church goers that all work together in the family business except for her. They also exclude her from all the family get togethers and vacations and it turned out that her dad was paying the rent for her apartment and the lease on her car while she blows all of her minimum wage income on vapes and Cinex. The one bill she had, the electric, was 5 months behind and on the verge of being shoot off off. She was 27. What do you bring to the table? I was so confused because we were barely talking and I wasn't sure how to even answer that. Doesn't help that she was a bit drunk, but the way she delivered the line really rubbed me the wrong way. Well other than myself. Nothing. That's the waiter's job. I. And that is a union job. And I'm no scab. Kawaka from a previous cleaning position at a hospital complex. One night. We are casually talking between jobs when she asks. Do you have any kids? When I say no. She seductively replies. Would you like some? Her question might have been taken as a coy way to ask me out, if not for the fact that seconds earlier, she mentioned her three children by multiple baby daddies, among other things. She was just trying to sell you one of the three. My high school GF of two weeks asking me if I've ever tried coke, and then getting mad at me for not having the slightest interest. Diet coke forever. I'm a Pepsi Maximum Girl backslash U0001F979. Anytime I would hear how I'm not man enough from my ex. Played a huge role why I fell out of love with her. Incredibly toxic and damaging. A woman told me she was incapable of monogamy because she needed the attention slash validation from multiple men fighting over her. I declined to pursue it further, and she stepped on my foot with a stiletto heel trying to force her way into my bedroom lol. She didn't like being told no. Mother of my children called me short. I looked at her, like she was crazy. I responded really. How come it wasn't an issue, when we were making kids it ended shortly after that. Sure enough she was seeing someone behind my back who is like an inch or two taller. She's also like 5 feet 2 and her mom is like 4 feet 11. I can't make this is up. I'm 5 feet 9 BTW. It's so weird how some people feel a need to turn on you just to end the relationship. I think they can't accept responsibility for their actions. And just lack empathy and critical thinking. So it's your fault for their everything. I'm hoeing around because. You're short. Yeah. That's it. Bitch. Please. Hey. My plans with friends got cancelled twice. Wanna hang out? Depends on the situation. But I'm assuming in this case you were the last resort. I was 24, while with a girl. Things were somewhere between FWB and BF slash GF. One day I made a joke about how I still had clothes from high school. That's just how things were given I grew up broke and was at first job out of college. She responded saying it was kinda sad and pathetic. Another time I made a joke about being a smaller guy. 5 feet 8 and 140 pounds. I run marathons competitively so very satisfied with my build. But I know I'm just going to be one of the smallest guys everywhere I go. She responds saying, since I'm a guy I should be making myself to be as big and strong as possible. I was desperate for any kind of relationship that I just blindly let her walk all over me. Then I learned she cheated on her BF before I met her and realized I dodged a bullet. I still wear clothes I wear clothes from high school. They were well made and still fit. 
I have a classic style, so the stuff I wore in the 90s don't really look dated. A blue suit is still a blue suit. I have several, and have a harder time, to rank them so here goes. Only men with chest hair should be allowed to show their chest. Naked chests are disgusting. A classmate commenting on me buttoning up a few buttons on my shirt on a hot summer day. The moment I saw you cry. I knew I had lost all my sexual desire for you. No real men cry. My ex a day after my closest relative had suddenly died. Men are nothing more than a walking dildo with a bank account. And it's moronic that they think they'll ever be anything more than that. A random girl I hooked up with in the pub. We didn't go home together. Sheesh my man. Might want a source from a new pool. I've been with a lot of guys lately you might want to wrap up thanks. I'll be back once you've been tested. I'm not against wearing a condom. But don't tell me, right before I go, in that you've been with a lot of guys lately, or how sketchy they were. If she tells me that, it just means she doesn't give a rest about my feelings. And probably also doesn't care for her own physical or mental health. Deep. Deep turn off.